After being left off a lot of the national boards and mocks to start the year, Michigan's Jet Howard has quickly flipped the script and proven he deserves to not only be looked at as a first round pick, but as someone who could go in the lottery. At 6'8", Jet has been a seamless fit on the wing for his dad Jawan's squad as he's been an elite shooter, a solid playmaker and defender, and someone who has already been their best player in a few games. The most impressive thing that Jet has shown so far is his three point shooting and you could even make a case that he is the best shooting prospect in this class. Right now I'd probably go in a different direction but he's been good enough that if I end up there at the end of the year or he ends up being that in the league I wouldn't be surprised at all. He's a big wing shooter at 6'7", 6'8", who's taking over 10 threes per 100 possessions and hitting about 40% of those looks and is also extremely fluid and has made shots in several different situations. Whether it's playing spot ups, looks off the dribble, shake ups and drifts, dribble handoffs or off of movement, he's been consistently good pretty much everywhere and contests have really struggled to bother him. Getting more into that movement ability, he's easily one of the best if not the best there. He's able to get organized quickly and from different angles and everything doesn't need to be perfect for him to get those hips aligned and in position to get a clean look off and that's a common trait for a lot of the best in this area. Keeping it simple, he's absolutely in whatever shooting combo you want to put him in in this class and should have a say in getting the ultimate title over their NBA careers. He's played a lot of basketball. Howard gets the pass. Howard is fed. Oh, oh, yeah. A lot of food. Hopefully some sleep. And we see him just looking over to my right. Maybe a chunk of food back on the... Now the thing that's really intrigued me with Jet and what separates him in some ways is what he's capable of off the dribble and he's honestly been one of the most creative non-guards in the class in that respect. He's got a sort of funky style to him, the handle isn't the tightest but he is fairly shifty, he's kind of an unpredictable mover with a bag full of counters and good instincts and though he's not super quick or strong he's able to get to a lot of spots on the floor and do it from three as well. Step back three. You bet. Out of time. This is Michigan. Howard is going to launch. Got Virginia in some defensive rotations, which is not easy to do. So it's freed up a backside rebound. That's just I also like how he's curled some of these pin downs and dribble handoffs, getting to a couple dribble pull ups in the pick and roll. And I think we can see him do even more work with the ball in his hands as the year goes on and earn a little more freedom to take these shots as Michigan doesn't really have a ton of solid options in terms of offense generators outside of Hunter Dickinson. And the best idea would probably be to involve Jet as much as possible. Howard in the corner. Just to see the help defense. Michigan shooting 62%. Oh, look at oh, Howard! With the Pretty much played as many minutes as he could. Allegedly, he's not going to play. This is there for Minnesota after the missed free throw. Howard against Carrington. Spent last year. He's shooting on under 20 now, I think. Part of why I think he could easily take on more on ball responsibility is what he's shown as a playmaker. He's not exactly a guy you would want to run your whole offense through, but what he's done in those early offense looks and second side actions making quick reads has been nothing short of excellent. And outside of the Ohio game, he's done a really good job of taking care of the ball as well. They're two very different players, but he's doing a lot of the same stuff that we saw Franz Wagner excel at in this offense, coming off the pin downs, the throwing goals, DHOs, and just reading whatever happens after that. When you start putting all these pieces together of a guy who has good positional size, can shoot the three at a high clip, put it on the floor, finish and make those complimentary plays for others within the flow of the offense, you've got a guy that teams covet as they know the role that he can play early, but the upside still exists with him as well. Sacrificed a lot over their careers and just... Our split defenders falls down somehow. Threw it up to 19 points. Here's the answer from Bufkin in the corner. I think Jet has been mostly solid defensively. There are a few areas I think he can still get better going forward. It's clear he really competes, especially in these bigger games. He's done a great job at getting back into plays and using his length after getting behind for a few different reasons. He's come up with some big blocks in the process, part of his one block a game average. He's a decent lateral mover. I think he's been a bit jumpy at times and ends up taking himself out of plays and getting blown by in the process doing that. And I don't think that he's like a lockdown guy on the perimeter, but I also don't think he's a liability or a cone. And in terms of ball denial, I think he 
he's been pretty good not allowing a catch. That's obviously scheme related and not every system or matchup is going to call for that. But when he's been asked to, he's helped take certain players out of the rhythm or out of stretches of games. But overall off the ball, I think he's got some work to do in terms of staying alert and in proper position and seeing both man and ball for the entirety of possessions. He's definitely a guy who's looked closer to good than bad, but there are a few things I think he could patch up to show and give more confidence in him and help vault him into that like top 10-ish type of range that I'll be interested in seeing. Other than that, there's not a whole lot to pick out within his game. You pretty much know what you're getting. He goes out there, he plays his game, doesn't force a ton of shots, doesn't need super high usage to make an impact, and isn't really lacking in any major areas that aren't coachable or easily fixable. I think we'd want to see more consistency from him from the free throw line and then getting all the way downhill to the rim on some of his drives. That's like the last piece of things for him to like really drive home that potential top eight to ten guy in my opinion but that's also when we kind of start getting a little greedy with our asks of what's already an obviously very good player now i've been on record several times as not being a huge fan of big 10 basketball in any way and that still remains the case but i think you'd love to see guys in rivalry games and ohio state and michigan state versus michigan are too obvious and some of the biggest ones in college basketball purdue is one of the best teams in the country so that's another good matchup to to watch jet in and then prospect wise it should be fun to watch him go up against guys like bryce sinzenball terrence shannon jr in the illinois group we've got jillian Hushafino and others at indiana so while i personally wouldn't recommend big 10 basketball to anyone whose time i really cared about there's just still be a few good ones in there for Jet along the way. Three on two for, Michigan. for me personally, I'd have Jet Howard in the lottery right now. There are about 18-ish guys I could see ending up in there, but he's solidified there for me at the moment. And prediction-wise, anywhere from that late lottery range to the mid-teens feels like a good spot for him, barring any significant changes to what he's shown so far. I just think it's pretty hard not to see that upside with a 6A guy who could potentially check the 3 and D box and also create some off the dribble. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below what you think of Jet Howard's game. As always, I'm Keandre, this is Hoop Intellect. Until next time, I'm out. Obviously having my dad and my brother here, my mom's like 15 minutes away. Um, and then when it comes to the basketball part, I think I fit right in well with the system. Um, I can shoot, I can dish, I can um, play defense. We asked Jet what he's most looking forward to. Away games, honestly, playing at Michigan State or Ohio State, those rival games. I grew up watching all those games. And I think like once I finally get into that um, so-called so rivalry, I'll, I'll be amazing. Defense, uh, I feel like uh, just learning just being in the right position, that helps. That's like half the, half the battle, um, just being in the right position. Going over film study with Saudi and, you know, just listening to a lot of my teammates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking the constructive criticism and not like being a kid about it and having a good attitude. Like, just, that's been the journey so far. It's awesome.